Right, we are back. We are back with a vengeance. It's Fleet Town at home. It's January the 7th. I haven't played a competitive game for 35 days, which is ludicrous. But that has meant we've done a bit of uh, bit of stadium improvement, which we have got here in the club shop, which will become an outdoor bar. So we'll, we'll, we'll sell all the merch here because merchandise sales have gone through the roof in the last six months, which is amazing. Um, but also we have a massive problem that we don't serve alcohol pitch side, which means that we don't make as many sales. So we thought, okay, we'll put this in, ready for um, people who want to buy beers, soft drinks, whatever, buy the pitch uh, as we go into this half of the season. Today, it's all about getting back down to business. Jono and the team putting a result on the board after 35 days without competitive football. Fleet Town at home, roll the tape. Especially at home. Hopefully, um, the weather stays dry and we get a good turnout. Yeah, I think uh, the two of the boys that come in, um, Kayan, he's, he's not available today. Um, it's a little bit of an issue with his form. And uh, Lamar, Lamar's in today. I thought he was excellent um, the other night coming in, uh, first game in a while. And uh, Andy Alley, uh, we've got 45 minutes out of him, uh, first time in a long time. So I think it'd be the same for him today, 45. Uh, a little bit harsh on Connor but um, it's, a, it's a squad game. Yeah, to be fair, um, we turned up and we left them to it and put poking their heads in now and then, and it, it's good. It's most probably the best best vibe we've had since we've been here, so I think the break's done them good. Out the town! <laughs> We're gonna get a real good look at everyone, especially, um, you know, we spoke about the next six weeks will be big for, for the team um, to see who's gonna be, who's involved and who wants to be involved going forward. So the more games we get, the better, the better be for us. Obviously, we're trying to explain to the guys with the, with the five subs. Subs for next year for us is like massive, yeah. and it's just trying to find the. I was just saying to Stuart guy over there, just trying to find the right balance with the boys. They're going to be disappointed with the way they're not chosen, but be ready for that impact for that 30 minutes. You know, you could pretty much change off your side. It's well, brilliant. Connor's shown all season that he'd come on, made an impact. Yeah. Right? He's got yeah. nine goals and four starts. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he's top six, top seven goal scorer yeah. in the league, no, and he's good. had four starts. Yeah, yeah. So it shows how much impact you can have. No, on the it bench. looks good, but the buzz in there is, like I just said, is 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 completely the opposite to when we first worked. This good. is what we want, with you know a few more sort of in the, on the horizon and stuff. Yeah, so it's good. Good fun. Nice. Right. Good to see you both. Anyway, it looks all right. It does. It's here. It, this is probably the heaviest bit here, so we're going to change the running to over that side. Yeah. But other than that, no, it's the uh, yeah. conditions. It's pretty yeah. good. Good job to him. Leave. Good to be back, eh? Good to be back. No, it's uh, just saying to the guys there, back to sort of competitive football. Um, it's uh, really looking forward to it now. We're, we're ready. It's uh, be interesting to see them. Looking forward to seeing what they're like. Obviously, new manager, uh, new challenge for their guys. They'll be obviously looking to impress their manager, uh, the same, same as our boys. So, um, yeah, looking forward to a really sort of a good sort of tight battle in sort of wet conditions. So, but it looks as though the rain's just eased off. So, uh, if it stays like that, it'd be perfect. Quickly interrupting Jimmy there with a quite a cool announcement actually. On the 18th of March this year, Farnham Town will be squaring off against Jersey Bulls away at the Springfield Stadium. We're offering a loyal town supporter a chance to win a hospitality package to come and attend that game with the club. The winner of the raffle will be rewarded with flights, match tickets and two nights accommodation in Jersey for them and a friend. So this is for two people. Tickets for the raffle are priced at £10 each or you can get three tickets for £25. The travel date for the trip is Friday, March 17th, so the day before the game, returning two days later on Sunday, March 19th, with Farnham's league game against Jersey Bulls taking place on the Saturday afternoon. Exact flight times and accommodation details will be shared with the winner after their name, but you can find those specifically on our Twitter account. Good luck. Go on to our website or on our Twitter account to buy the tickets. Good luck, and hopefully we'll see you in Jersey. Boys, out the blocks, yeah? Nice and fast. Yeah, the warm-up was good. Ooh. High intensity, yeah? Come on. Take it to them. Look after each other out there. Enjoy it, chaps. Stick together. Important season now, end of the season. Kicking on for next year. Game time. Yeah, we said it before, right? We're here to win. We're here to win the league next year. And we're here to win football games. It ain't a laugh and a joke. Yeah, it ain't a social club. But we're gonna have fun along the way. Yeah, winning brings fun. Yeah, so make sure we're all together on the pitch. You've got game on today, conditions are going to make it game on. It's going to be competitive, you're going to have to challenge, you're going to have to tackle, you're going to have to compete, you're going to have to win the ball from the front, you're going to have to do everything 
Get ugly. And it might take 60 minutes of ugliness on this pitch today when it all cuts up. Yeah, then your quality will shine through. You have nothing to lose. Go and enjoy yourself, express yourself, and make sure you work. Yeah, it's fun. Fleet Town make the short five mile trip to Farnham in what is a local derby here in step five, combined counties Premier Division South, Caroma plays it out to Owen Dean, arguably Farnham's player of the season so far. And that's why he's played in Caroma, chant but it goes begging, Farnham on top, back to Caroma, ball played in, Owen Dean leaps. And he's put it in. The town strike first on Derby Day. McCauley, the captain. Plays it to Richie and Bele. Opens up. Oh, the shot takes a bobble. Farnham on top here. Flanagan! He's hit the post. Should be two. And the long throw. Played in, it's flicked on. Oh, it's a horror show at the back for Farnham. Oh, and uh, Fleet have taken it short. Just wide. A lot of time in football missed, um, so I should imagine Jono's had a strangely a, a, a good time, so he can kind of approach players, see where they're at. Uh, a lot of new players come in on a game. Luckily, we were allowed to kind of get on with uh, all the shot 21s. As much as everyone was missing it, and um, we're now kind of back on it, and hopefully the season starts. It's felt like we had a little winter break. <laughs> Overall, I think he's still doing the right thing from, from my point of view, definitely, in, in being able to tick players in, um, see where he is five or six weeks before the end of the season, and then really go through for a good pre-season with a squad that he feels kind of totally happy with. Just managing the game a little bit better. The first 20 minutes, we looked excellent. And then all of a sudden, it's just f***ing, they, they, they score them. That's just that mentality of us. When, when you take the lead, keep doing the things that got you there. Someone needs to take control. Someone needs to get a grip of each other and set pieces. They look as though every time they're going to cross the ball or set pieces from the long throw corners, they look as though they're going to score. Well frustrated. Well frustrated for it because you should be winning the game like 3-0, I think. Mean, I mean, that's a fair reflection on the game. We have a corner and with the ball being in play, within seven seconds at the most probably, might be being generous, it's one all from our corner. Come on. Come on. But that, that's gone, that's gone, we get back to it, second half. Yeah, be real frustrated, real frustrated with the scoreline that you're going to go out and dominate the second half. Be a team that's going places, yeah, be a team. Because for 20 minutes you look, like a, you look like a strong outfit. You look like a strong outfit that's just going to get better and better. And you will get better and better, but take the second half as frustration that you're going to go out and steamroll it and you're going to be that good team. Because you're furious that you're one all with them have to work hard, do not forget that, you have to run back, yeah, you have to run back, I know it's heavy and it's hard, when it gets heavy and hard, pick and choose your moment, pick and choose your moment, we're happy, but we're frustrated that it's one all, we're the better side, don't come off here in 50 minutes time and go, oh, hell, we're stupid in certain moments, yeah, come off, knowing that you deserve the three points and we move on to the next game. Everyone feeling alright? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Boy, stick at it. Good, we go again, yeah. Yeah, we go again. Come on, come on. Get him going. Come on, all round. Come on, we're having good. Into the second half. Oh, and it's turned in. Farnham have looked shaky at the back at set pieces. Ball's flicked on. Oh, Connor Young could be in here. He's played it forward. He's brought down. Is he the last man? The ref's going to take his time. It's a red card. Farnham given a huge helping hand. Solid save. Whipped ball in. 
What a save! Falls to Young! What a block! Hard to deny Fleet have defended well here. Flanagan! Just wide! And it's the end of the game. Ten man Fleet dig in to get all three points. Wait, where, where did that come from, that 25 minutes? Because you've gone from looking at a decent side that looks like you going to kick on to a complete shower of sh Nothing about you. Zero bollocks. Zero bollocks. Massively zero bollocks. And then to no f clue. But you'll all sit here and walk off the pitch and go, oh, you should have done this, should have done that. You didn't do f all about it. Played against 10 men for half an hour. And all you kept doing was the same thing of clipping it, clipping it, clipping it, clipping it, clipping it, clipping it. And it weren't working. And get what you did. Clip it. Clip it. No enthusiasm or thought to get the ball out wide and go on over that and just keep crossing the ball. Nothing. Nothing. It was a shower of It's gone from, I don't know, you've gone from like being there to not even like below bottom. Because it was a shambles. Look at your selves. Look at your selves. Because that was bad. That was bad against 10 men. And that was a terrible 45 minutes since I've been here. Terrible. Especially against 10 men. We are so much better than that. I think you've, I think you've proved it. Watch the f***ing moment. The first 20 minutes I thought we were excellent. Excellent. Moved it nice and sharp. And then it just that stopped when they f***ing scored. And then our, men, our mentality was just like so weak. Mentality wise, all round, I think we have to start growing up a little bit. Because if we want to be competing next season at the top, There'll be certain individuals that some of these boys will tell you they've been involved in promotions. Week in, week out, you're a f***ing bite. Everyone wants to f beat you. Everyone wants to beat you. And they celebrate like that. They f celebrate like that week in, week out. And we've got to be able to deal with that. I know, it's, I know there's a lot of youngsters in here, but we've got to learn quick. And the older boys have got to help out. We've got to help out. <clears throat> but that needs to be better just in general. I think footballing-wise, we are so much better than that. Obviously very disappointing. Uh first game back. Um, lots of positives in terms of attendances again, we've said that all season now. Um, but yeah, performance first half was great, but second half just weren't at the races, Fleet just wanted it more. Uh, fair play to Glash, done a great job, brought in players that he needed to win. And he has got his first got his first win, it's a fair play. Um, pleased to see him doing well. Um, but we've still got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot to get in this, we need to get right, like we need, we need players to be taking some responsibility and I don't feel like they are right now um, but you know it's, it's gonna come it's gonna come like it's one of those few weeks you just need to ride it out shake off the cobwebs of Christmas and hopefully we can come out next week against a very very good Abbey Rangers side who uh, I think are top of the league right now and uh, go and upset them and take some points off them but that's not gonna be easy away from home um, but thank you very much for watching thank you everyone who came along we have people travel um, all the way uh, from Derby, North London, in order to come and watch a, a game of football here at Farnham, which is amazing uh, because they watch the YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching, uh, and we'll see you next week. Yeah.